With the recent purchase of the HVLS fan or high volume low speed fan, it is important to review both the operation and maintenance manual in this video series before installation. A demo of the HVLS fan is set up in order to review the safety and installation features of the fans, including how to set up blades, install guy wires, variable frequency drives, extensions and safety cables. These fans can be installed from purlin mounts, open web steel joist, or mounted directly to the beam itself. Please review the other videos in our HVLS series to review specific mounting configurations. Installation of this fan and control package should only be performed by a qualified professional who has read and understands these instructions and is familiar with proper safety precautions. Improper installation poses serious risk of injury due to electric shock, contact with rotating equipment, and other potential hazards. Always disconnect power prior to working on equipment. There is a basic set of tools that are required for HVLS fan installation, starting with a full manual, torque wrenches, basic socket set, wrench set, levels, nut drivers, cable cutters, and screwdrivers. Torque wrenches are probably the most critical tool required for the installation. Every fastener on the HVLS fan must be torqued to a specific torque setting. When installing the fans, there's a certain set of clearances that have to be maintained. For example, there must be at least 60 inches between the top of the fan and the roof deck. The fan must be installed at least 144 inches above the floor. And above and below the blade, there should be at least 30 inches of clearance. Along the lateral side of the blades, there should be at least 18 inches of clearance from the end of the blade to any obstruction. The blades are made up of two components. First you have a heavy duty aluminum blade, and then a steel blade topper with a rubber backing to prevent slippage. The holes in those two components line up, and then line up with the holes in the hub below. Once the blade topper and blade are aligned, Slide in the three 3 8 inch bolts with washers. A washer and nylock nut go on the bottom of each bolt. Once the bolts are secure, verify that the blade is straight in the hub and then torque the bolts to the correct torque setting of 30 foot-pounds. There are four guy wires installed on every HVLS fan. Guy wires are installed approximately 90 degrees apart and 45 to 60 degrees above horizontal. Guy wires use thimbles, both in the fan and the opposite end. They also get looped through the thimble and back through a redundant set of safety clamps. The turn back end must be on the U side of the safety clamps. Guy wires are intended to keep the fan level during installation and operation, and to give the fan stability when operating. Every piece of hardware on the HVLS fan gets torqued to the torque setting in the manual. In this case, the guy wire safety clamps get torqued to 36 inch pounds. Every mechanical joint in the HVLS fan has a redundant safety clamp installed. These safety clamps route from one assembly down to the next assembly and get looped through one another. Once the loops are established, the clamps get torqued to 54 inch pounds. Most of the hardware used to install the fan is half inch hardware. That half inch hardware is installed on the purlin mounts, open web steel joist, and the fan itself. They all get torqued to 75 foot pounds. Each aluminum blade has a steel blade topper with three bolts that run down through the blade. The bolts are 3 8 inch hardware and get torqued to 30 foot pounds. Please recheck each bolt after securing them to ensure they meet the required torque settings. Once the fan is installed and leveled, remove the vent plug to allow the gears to ventilate. A variable frequency drive, or VFD, must be used to control and protect the fan. The use of motor starters or contactors instead of VFDs will result in fan gear damage and will void the warranty. VFDs can be installed in one of three locations, 
First, being on the fan itself, mounted to this VFD plate. Second, VFDs can be installed in the electrical control package. Or thirdly, they can be shipped loose for field installation. A means of disconnecting power to the fan must be located within visual sight of the fan and outside the perimeter of the blades. Ideally, this disconnect is located at ceiling level, a minimum of three feet outside the perimeter of the blades. This will allow service personnel to disconnect power to the fan and safely work within the perimeter of the blades. HVLS control packages contain VFDs, or variable frequency drives, to protect and control the motor. Load reactors are oftentimes installed between the VFD and the fan motor to protect the fan motor from harmonics created by the VFD. It's important to run VFD load and line wiring in separate conduit. Also, if any 24 volt wiring is used, that should be run in separate conduit as well. HVLS control panels can be fully interlocked with the building. In this example here, the emergency shutdown is interlocked with the building fire alarm panel so that in the event of a fire, the fire alarm panel will shut down the fans in the building to allow firemen to safely work within the building. The fault can be muted and can only be cleared if the building fire alarm panel is reset. Thank you for watching. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series. For more information, please refer to the complete manual or call us at 866-784-6900 for authorized technical support.